Praise him, praise him, praise him, my brothers and sister. This is Sister Judy coming back to you. I'm going to be doing the last piece of the eagle, the bear, the lion, and the man. Let's just say a quick word of prayer. Father, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for mercies. I thank you for your love. And I thank you for giving us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on this open vision that you keep giving. In your holy, precious name, I say amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, I did, I think, two part. And I've got the part three, but I was taking my time to figure it out what the Lord wanted me to know about it. And let me just say, the, the big eagle, the small eagle, the bear, the lion, and the man. The big eagle represent the heavenly, the heavenly being or the heavenly person. So as I was reflecting on it, I realized that the small eagle was already on the mountain waiting. So basically what the Lord was saying to me, he was reasoning with the small eagle for a period of time, but the small eagle would not comply to what God is saying. So this is how I saw the big heavenly eagle coming in with the bear and put the bear around the table. It was flying. You can listen to the other video so you can understand what I'm saying. So the big eagle, which is the heavenly eagle, it's that eagle went for the bear, put the bear on the mountain. The bear was sitting at the picnic table facing the small eagle so they were like they were reasoning then i saw the lord went for the the lion and as i say before the lion was giving a lot of trouble so the lion got a lot of bruise a lot of bruise coming on its way and then the, the lord went for the man now what i'm trying to say the bear was carried by the heavenly being to deal with with the small eagle so whatsoever is going to take place the bear represent russia and the small eagle represent america that's how far i'm going to go into this vision right now so it is the will of god for the bear to deal with the eagle because the eagle would not listen the small eagle now as i say before i saw the bear was handling the small eagle very rough and it reached the point where it threw the small eagle off the cliff and when man saw what was going on man was watching the big eagle to see if the big eagle was going to do anything. But the big eagle was just there looking. Turn its back. It was not looking at what the bear was doing to the small eagle. The lion walked away. Man could not take what was happening. So man went on its knee with his head between his legs. Like when you are in an intercession mood praying man could not believe what the light what what the bear was doing to the small eagle now once this eagle once the small eagle was thrown over the cliff it was almost 75 percent to land in the water and that's when the big eagle went after it and catch it but i must tell you the eagle, the small eagle, got a lot of damage. By the time it reached down, it lost most of its feather. It was like a young chicken 
when you pick it. And if you understand when an eagle loses its feather, what takes place? It cannot fly anymore. It cannot do anything. Someone else have to take care of what the eagle used to take care of. But what I want people to know, this is the will of God. This is war. On somewhere in, I think, September 29th or 30th, one of the one of the one of the seal was open most people thought it was a thunder but most people heard this sound it was one of the seal the lord want me to let people know it was one of the seal that opened and right after that seal i think it was about three or four days after we have the war in israel started so people we are living in the end time we need to repent. We need to turn our life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. We are in the last days, people. But this is the will of God for the bear to deal with America because they didn't they did not listen. Because for you for the for the big eagle to go for the bear and bring it on the 